Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Portrait Journeys with Da Vinci. Hello, art enthusiasts. I am Leonardo da Vinci, your companion on this timeless exploration. In our last episode, we marveled at the vibrant artistry of Judith Leister, a woman who defied the norms of her time to create compelling portraits that remain relevant to this day. Today, our journey takes us to the German Renaissance, where we will admire the portrait art of the masterful Albrecht Dürer, a visionary whose impact on the art world is immeasurable. Dürer's influence extends far beyond his era, earning him a place among the most revered artists in history. His precise techniques and intricate details have left an indelible mark, shaping the course of Northern Renaissance art. Among his many masterpieces, such as Self-Portrait at Age 28, Portrait of a Young Venetian Woman, and Portrait of Emperor Maximilian I, each stroke of Dürer's brush reveals a profound understanding of the human form and an unparalleled mastery of technique. Join us as we unravel the stories embedded in Dürer's canvas, exploring the legacy of a true artistic pioneer and his contributions to the world of art. Born in Nuremberg, at the heart of the German Renaissance, Albrecht Dürer was the third child and second son of Albrecht Dürer, the elder, and Barbara Holper, who had 18 children together. His journey into the world of art commenced under the guidance of his father, a skilled goldsmith who had migrated from Hungary. Though initially trained in the intricate craft of goldsmithing, young Dürer's innate talent for drawing led him to the workshop of Michael Wolgemuth at the tender age of 15. Wolgemuth, the leading artist in Nuremberg, shaped Dürer's early artistic endeavors. The city itself, a hub of publishing and luxury trades with strong ties to Italy, provided a fertile ground for Dürer's budding genius. After completing his apprenticeship, Dürer embarked on the traditional gap years, seeking knowledge from artists across different regions. His travels, possibly influenced by Martin Schongauer's art, took him across Frankfurt and the Netherlands. It was during this period that Dürer created his first painted self-portrait, probably to be sent back to his fiancée in Nuremberg, a testament to his blossoming skills. The allure of Italy beckoned, and within three months of his marriage, Dürer set forth on a transformative journey. Venturing through the Alps, he meticulously documented his travels, creating watercolor sketches that would later shape his artistic vision. In Venice, he immersed himself in the rich artistic milieu, absorbing influences from the likes of Giovanni Bellini, Antonio del Polaiuolo, and Andrea Mantegna. Dürer's return to Nuremberg marked a significant chapter in his life. Despite the acclaim he received from the Venetians, he continued to refine his craft in Germany. Dürer's artistic brilliance blossomed further as he became the major patron of the Emperor Maximilian I. Under Maximilian's patronage, Dürer not only created exquisite woodcut prints, but also worked on the marginal images for the Emperor's printed prayer book. The collaboration extended to portraiture, with Dürer capturing Maximilian's regal visage in several portraits. The Emperor's court, unlike the norm of the time, respected artists and intellectuals, providing a conducive environment for Dürer's creativity. Collaborating with eminent figures like Pirkheimer, Dürer found himself in the company of brilliant minds, including Johannes Stabius, Konrad Poitinger, Konrad Keltus, and Hans Schurter.
While Dürer gained widespread acclaim for his groundbreaking woodcut works, his prowess in portraiture remains a testament to his versatile genius. Despite the prevalent recognition of his intricate engravings and prints, Dürer's ability to capture the essence of his subjects in portraits stands as a remarkable facet of his artistic repertoire. His keen understanding of the human form, coupled with an unparalleled mastery of technique, manifested in portraits that transcended mere representation, offering glimpses into the inner worlds of his subjects. What sets Dürer apart as a master painter are his innovative techniques and a profound understanding of form. His meticulous attention to detail, intricate compositions, and groundbreaking use of color have left an indelible mark on the history of art. In the realm of printmaking, Dürer's engravings and prints stand as a testament to his mastery, influencing major artists like Raphael, Titian, and Parmigianino. Let us delve into his masterpieces. Portrait of a Young Venetian Woman. In this captivating masterpiece, Dürer's artistry unfolds in a symphony of details. The intricate rendering of the woman's clothing, the meticulous attention given to every piece of jewelry, and the delicacy with which he captures her facial features reveal Dürer's unwavering command over his craft. The fine details and achieved realism not only showcase his technical brilliance, but also convey a sense of grace and sophistication. Portrait of Maximilian I. Dürer's portrait of Maximilian is a crowning achievement in his exploration of portraiture. A testament to his technical prowess, this masterpiece captures the regal demeanor of the Holy Roman Emperor. The meticulous rendering of attire the nuanced facial expression and the overall realism elevate this portrait to a captivating showcase of Dürer's artistry. Beyond being a portrait, it serves as a historical artifact, transporting the viewer to the grandeur of Maximilian's era. Self-portrait at the age of 28. This self-portrait stands as a profound testament to Albrecht Dürer's technical mastery. Created at the age of 28, Dürer immortalized himself with meticulous detailing, skillfully capturing the interplay of light and shadow on his face. The precision in execution not only reflects the artist's virtuosity, but also provides a timeless glimpse into Dürer's prime, showcasing his ability to convey introspection and self-awareness. Although his paintings found a home in private collections, Dürer's influence reverberated through the art world. His blend of German and Italian styles continues to resonate, and his dramatic self-portraits remain iconic, captivating artists well into the 19th and 20th centuries. Thank you for embarking on this artistic journey with us. If you discovered the allure of Dürer's brushstrokes and the timeless influence of his art, consider subscribing to our channel. Explore the links in the description for a curated selection of art products inspired by the Portrait Master. Your support ensures that we can continue unraveling the secrets and stories behind the portraits that shape our world. Stay tuned for the next episode of Portrait Journeys with Da Vinci, and always remember, art will never die.